Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another weekly tip video. Following on from my recent tip video on changes to Apple Mail in Big Sur, I thought I'd do the same for calendar and contacts. However, except for a visual refresh, nothing obvious seemed to have changed with calendar and contacts. So instead, I thought I'd expose some of the hidden gems within both applications that you might not be fully aware of. So let's start with calendar. So I fired up the calendar application and today's the 17th of December and it's 1336. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new event. So an important meeting today at two o'clock, 1400 hours. Now this main tip really is about alerts within calendar. Some quite fancy things you can do with alerts uh, that you might not have picked up on before. Let me go in and say add alert. And down at the bottom, we've got this option here. And normally you set up an alert either at the time of the event, uh, a couple of minutes before, hour before, day before, etc. And this will just pop up a notification for you. But if you go down to custom, there's some additional things you can do. So you can send a message with sound to uh, fire off a number of minutes before, uh, at the time of the event, hours before, etc. But if you select here, you can send yourself an email to remind you. So if you're constantly within your email, uh, you might want to get an email just to remind you about your important meeting. So let's set this to five minutes before. And we'll say OK. Now we can add additional alerts as well. So let's say this important meeting, uh, there's some documentation that you want to pick up on. Uh, I think there's some meeting notes and there is also uh, a spreadsheet. So if I go to here and again say custom, and go down and say open file this time. And rather than calendar, select other. I can now navigate to my documents folder. Let me just bring that up. So I've got some meeting notes here that I want to uh, review before the meeting starts. So we'll say select and we'll have that. Uh, I know it's cutting it fine, but let's say uh, one minute before the meeting starts. And again, we will go ahead and create a third alert. We'll say custom and we will say open file and we will go to other and let's go ahead and open up our spreadsheet as well. So we'll say select and again, we'll have this, uh, well, let's have this two minutes before. Say okay. So five minutes before I should receive an email alert. Two minutes before the meeting, I should have my uh, spreadsheet open to have a look at that. And then one minute before I should have my meeting notes opened in pages for me. So let's go ahead, put that away, and we'll now wait till, in fact, it's 13.39. I'm not going to wait 20 minutes. Let me go in and change this so we can see it happen more in real time. So rather than 1,400, let's say 13.50. Okay, so that's fine. So one minute before the meeting, I've just opened up the mail application so you can see the email come in. should come in at 13.45. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad, and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.